This is my first weapon that I ever bought. I bought this weapon back in 1990 in Germany. This is an XR-15 shorty. We call it a bull pup because this bitch got kicked to it. This bitch will knock you the fuck down. The interesting thing about this weapon is if I pull back the bolt, see that? See the bolt? There's no bullet in there. Pay very close attention. If I'm not paying attention and I take this weapon and I bang it, look what just happened. The bolt goes forward. The weapon has fired. I didn't touch the trigger. I just simply banged it on the table. If you sit down and you bang this on the ground, you will blow your head off. It happens in basic training every day. And y'all get a letter and a flag saying your son was killed in a training accident. An old shotgun, if you drop it, it will fire. So don't believe these motherfuckers running around talking about you shouldn't have had your hand on the trigger. You don't have to have your, have your hand on the trigger. Let me show you again. I'm going to sit down. I'm tired. You just committed an incident. Your hand was not on the trigger. Doesn't make a difference whether, and it was on safe. Mm -hmm. Unless you understand weapons for real. Don't you listen to these motherfuckers who have no intention of ever picking up one and who don't understand that weapons go off by themselves all the time. Now that I've shown you that. Yeah, I watched it. I, I, I skimmed through it. I couldn't listen to all of it. Um, the discussion that Michi and Grandmaster J had, Michi X or whatever her name is. Um, you know, and they got their whatever their beef is with Tariq Nasheed because, you know, they're going back and forth and everybody's talking about this crabs in the barrel. I already, I already knew was, this was going to. You know, unfold, but you know, at the end of the day, Grandmaster Jay fucked up. You know, and and the part the part that frustrates me is the fact that he's not taking accountability for it. He's making excuses for it, and that's not a good look. And I don't even know anybody who, uh, you know, would make it that high in the military because he had that major. What is it? Uh, 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 what, what what pin did he have on? He had on some some pin um major sergeant staff sergeant whatever pin he had i don't i don't i don't particularly care what rank uh you know he had uh you know the point of the matter is is that when it comes to people who have leadership skills they take accountability for their people when they claim that they're the leader so that negligent that negligent discharge would have fallen underneath the um the uh, the uh, uh, Grandmaster J being held accountable. In other words, the person who did the negligent discharge, that's the person that should be held responsible. But the person that should be held accountable is Grandmaster J because that happened underneath, um, you know, you know his his uh, leadership. That's how it works. And when I see um, a so-called leader go up there and they're not taking full responsibility for what happened and they're making excuses and then the excuses that they're making don't even make sense and then further demonstrate their incompetence as it pertains to their use of a rifle you know that's not a good look you know i do get the fact that the uh that the that the white groups and the militias because they're coming on my page with that bullshit that they're going to, uh, you know, they're ragging on Grandmaster Jay. You know, yeah, they don't have the same energy, you know, for these ragtag white militias out here when they go and they make, you know, a, you know, a mistake. But here, here's here's what I got to even, you know, say about it. Grandmaster Jay made in that video that he did, he's got like at least five, six mistakes all within the span of about 30 seconds. 
you know, guns go off by themselves. I bought a gun in Germany that has a Picatinny rail in 1990 when Picatinny rails weren't even manufactured until, you know, uh, not, or, or uh, designed until 1992 and then distributed in 1995 with the M4 rails for the M4 carbine. And then later on, you know, the M16A4 in 1997, right? So I'm like, you know, that's a folly there. You know, then the whole idea of, you know, the the M16, you know, AR-15 variant firing from the open bolt position, like that doesn't make any sense. Um, him saying that the that the uh, five five six round coming out of a 20 inch barrel with a full length rifle uh, gas system, you know, will knock you the fuck back. You know, and then, and then people are clowning him by by showing pictures of of women shooting, you know, uh, AR-15s. And, and, you know, it's just, I mean, it's, it's, you're, it's, you're shooting a 22 caliber bullet. Hence why it says 223 Remington, you know, and 5.56, five, 5.56 five, five millimeter, like, you know, it's just different ways of measuring it, but you're literally shooting a 22 caliber bullet. This is why the left even sounds retarded when they when they're up there and they're talking about how we got to ban AR-15s and because they're so powerful and all that other stuff. No, powerful is a freaking 30 out six. Powerful is a 308, you know, or or um, you know, a 300 Win Mag and and or a 338 Lapua or a 50 BMG. You know, all these other calibers that literally you know are as big as your hand. That's powerful right but again it's just it's it's all these things are hinting at the fact that grandmaster jay doesn't know what he's talking about you know and and the thing is is a lot of black people we rooting for him you know what i'm saying but it's like damn man why do you got to go up there and see the, see the problem is, is this is the issue with narcissistic personality disorder the problem is is when you go up there and and you're just spewing shit you don't even fact check you don't do your own homework okay you're digging even more holes for yourself to fall in or deeper holes for yourself to fall in it's like and, and this is this is what i hate about i hate saying it but but you know, the, the embodiment of niggas like this is what niggas do. You know what I'm saying? Like just street gully gutter niggas. It, there's no real sense of professionalism. There's no real there's no real calmness to them. You know, they just go out there. They black out. They go off. They get accused of some. And, and they just they the, the, the nigga just comes right out of them. You saw the same thing with the I don't know if you all saw Brandon Tatum. You know, when he was up there throwing Ahmaud Arbery underneath the bus and talking a whole bunch of crazy, and then he went on some live chat, and then he went the hell off and was nigga this and nigga that and nigga, 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 and fuck you and eat a dick, motherfucker. Like, he was just going the fuck off. And I'm like, yeah, that, that's because you, you was a nigga. You, a nigga. you ain't no professional, you know, police officer and all that other shit. That's why you had to come to YouTube to make your money and go on your rants and and all that other shit. But, you know, again, he's got his white wife and he's so keen on throwing other black people underneath the bus and the white people listening to it. They just eat it up. You know, they love that. They love coon black people that go up on Fox News, Larry Elders, your Thomas Sowells, your Brandon Tatums. They love that shit. They love it. They eat it up because they got the black people going up there saying everything they want to say without being called racist. Well, I didn't say it. The nigger said it. You know, they love that. They eat that shit up. You know, and I understand that the white guys, you know, they're going to they're going to they're going to rag on the NFAC. Again, they don't like the tenants of the NAC. They don't like any idea or concept of black people being armed and sticking up for themselves and defending themselves. They're always going to come online and deny racism. You know, they're always going to come online and say, oh, it doesn't exist. And, 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 and what are you talking about? And you black people are just making it up. And, you know, you know, uh, this is reverse racism. And then claim that the response to white people's aggressions and white racism is black people just innately hating on white people. Like they're always going to freaking come online and spew that shit. Like they literally can look at American history and say to themselves, oh, I don't even know why they're mad. You know, same thing that they did with 9-11. You know, they hate us because they hate our freedom. Really? Not, not 19 guys with box cutters slam planes into the towers and the Pentagon and shit because they hate your freedom. Yes, they hate who we are as Americans. Really? Really? That that's that that's why they mad. That's that's why they 
did that. You know what I mean? So they're always going to come on with 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 their bullshit logic because they want to control the narrative of why you're actually doing you know what they're what you're doing, and you don't owe them an explanation, right? But here's the thing, and I said this in my previous video where I was ranting, you know, um, um, the the what was I saying? I remember, you know, this whole like cosplay shit, you know, I mean, this whole black militia stuff, you know, and I, and I talked about how you got black people rooting about the militia and oh, at least he's doing something and everything else. And these niggas still don't have a freaking gun, you know, anywhere in their house. They still didn't go out and buy it. I, how many times about how, how how many years have I been online telling black people to arm themselves, you know, in case of emergency? Not just to deal with the racist and white supremacists, but Ray Ray and Pookie and the dangerous individuals in our own, you know, community, you know, that are a byproduct of, you know, this prolonged exposure to poverty that unfortunately we got to put down like rabid dogs, even though we know it's the system of white supremacy that ultimately made them rabid with the conditions that black people have been put in with redlining, block busting, you know, the 1950 high 55 and the Highway Commission Act, you know, the 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 uh, ripping black men out of the homes, disproportionately putting us on the front lines during Vietnam, the dumping of narcotics and drugs in the black community through Reagan and, you know, the, the Iran conjuring is on it. All this stuff I've covered before. We know that, you see, but, um, you know, it's just, it's just, it's frustrating because, um, you know, it's like, it's, it's like you get these people that come on and they're like, oh, well, you know, you got to let me do my thing. And, you know, at least I'm doing some, what are y'all doing? Y'all ain't doing nothing. This is the issue with the, with this power vacuum that has been created, you know, where, where, and this is what happens when, you know, the ELs, they didn't step up. We didn't do anything. You know, the, the, uh, you know, whatever other black people, the Hoteps, the Israelites, the, 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 you know, Whatever other black groups and factions, you know, they, they didn't form anything. Naga, Naga didn't go out there and say, you know, we're sick and tired of, you know, seeing, you know, black people, uh, you know, be killed and not be, and not get justice. And especially the way it just recently, it just, it's, just, it's all been back to back to back. You know, it's, it's, you know, eventually people get sick and tired of being sick and tired. But I'm like, I don't care about all this cosplay shit and people running around, you know, with guns, parading and marching and all that other stuff. Ultimately, that's not going to do much. I, and, and I'm saying, you know, what needs to happen and, and, and truth be told, one thing I will agree with Grandmaster Jay on is people are scared, you know, Regard, regardless of, of whether they out there marching or not, they scared because you, you can't even get them to go out and buy a gun and have a gun in their home. Or you can't even get them to go out there and, and get their CCW permit or their Florida non-resident permit or their Utah permit, which means that they're good in like 35 states. You can't even get them. You can't even get them to do that. You know, so so, you know, I'm just like, I don't know, I'm 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 I'm. I'm frustrated with with just, you know, everybody on on this whole on this whole issue and this whole conversation. Um you know, because people are like, "Oh, you know, well, at least they're doing something and all this other shit." I'm like, "It ain't about that." You know, the, the Grandmaster Jay went up there and it really looks like he doesn't know what he's talking about. I mean, it's like it would be like if OK, somebody comes in the room, you know, I'm, I am I know how to drive. Somebody walks in the, in, the, in the room or in the building or whatever, and they say that they claim themselves to be a NASCAR driver. Right. So at face value, I'm like, oh, man, he's a NASCAR driver, man, this motherfucker, you know, riding around at 200 miles an hour, making nothing but left hand turns. You know, I'm like, yeah, that's that's some impressive shit. NASCAR driver. Right. And then they're giving an, a seminar, giving instruction, talking about, um, yeah, and how you drive is, you know, the the uh, the left pedal is the accelerator and the right pedal is the brake. Now I'm supposed to sit there and not say nothing. We all know that the right pedal is the accelerator and the left pedal is the brake, but I'm supposed to not say anything because you know, pro got to keep it pro black, got to keep it pro blackity black black, got to have the fist in the air. I'm like that's asinine. That's asinine. And especially when you talk about weapons, that's the type of shit that's going to get people killed. 
Plain and simple. That's the type of shit that's going to get people killed. You know, I am frustrated at the fact, I mean, I, 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 all of a sudden I go to the top of the algorithms in YouTube when talking about this Jan, Grandmaster J, you know, bullshit with the guns. You know, um, 5,000 views in fucking one day and I only got like 2,300 subscribers. You know, so and then I got all these white people coming on my page talking about subscribe, subscribe. Yeah, because they agree with my Second Amendment. Go over to New Jersey Self-Defense. Go to that YouTube channel. That's the channel where I talk about guns and racial politics and, and mainly the channel is about guns and the laws and everything else and trying to get more black people to be about the Second Amendment. You know, again, you know, see, see, as I said before, white people operate as a means to an end in terms of how they do things. OK, black people, you talk to black people about the Second Amendment and stuff like that and supporting it. Oh, man, you know, that's the NRA, you know, that's left. That's that's on the right. You know, oh, I don't support Trump, this, that and the third. I'm like, but that's your best hope of preserving and maintaining the Second Amendment. The very thing that you're that you're claiming that you want to do. And if people don't do it, they're a bunch of sit on their ass, you know, armchair revolutionaries. You're not going to be able to do that if the Democrats uh, go out here and pass the laws that they want to pass. Hell, most of the black people talking about, you know, uh, uh, you know, who's doing what and who's not doing what are the same people who in November are going to go out here and vote for Joe Biden. And then the Democrats are going to go and try to push all type of stupid ass gun control that nobody fucking wants because we see how fragile this system is when, uh, you know, everybody floods the streets because there's not enough food to eat or there's or people are losing their jobs. Now we're talking about people losing their house. We're not even in freaking November yet. We haven't even got there. We don't even know what's going on with people with, the you know, people losing their housing and stuff because there aren't protections in every single state. You know, you got people who, you know, didn't get their checks. I'm sure you all saw the guy who robbed the bank and said, hey, I'm sorry, but I didn't get my check and let's make this easy. You know, just give me the money. You know, I'm sure you saw that. You know, people people are in desperation. You know, and it's so funny when it comes to white people, because white people recognize like like when we, when we talk about the black community and what goes on in the black community, you know, they, you know, they're all in this personal responsibility and people should behave despite the fact that, you know, they're in situations of desperation. But yet white people understand real quick how people will devolve when they're put in stressful situations where they're going out, going without resources. All of a sudden, white people recognize, well, shit, if people ain't working and people don't have jobs, well, then, you know, oh, man, you know, shit's going to get real bad. And then all of a sudden they go out and buy a whole bunch of guns. But yet when you got the black community and then you had white flight and then you had, you know, the jobs that left urban cities and urban environments or went overseas because the deindustrialization of America has affected all Americans. Right. And all these all these jobs go overseas and shit like that. And then they're sitting there looking at cities like Chicago or cities like Philadelphia and cities like uh, Baltimore and stuff like that, which were manufacturing hubs and manufacturing bases. Hell, even in New, in New Jersey, they had that bridge that said in Trenton that says we make what the world takes. Yeah, shit was booming after World War II when Europe was bombed to hell and they had to borrow and buy everything from us. But now all this stuff is produced everywhere else. You'd be hard pressed to have anything in your house right now that says made in USA. But yet white people only get see it. They only have 2020 clarity when they get a taste of their own medicine. When they get when, when, when they lose their jobs and everything, you know, they, then they start coming out talking about well, we got men with families. You know, now all of a sudden, you know, wages matter. How much somebody's being paid is matter. Right. You know, you, we got family support. We need livable wages and all that other shit. Where's the stimulus check? We got to go out here and work. You know, and, and as I said before, white men become slaves to their own rhetoric. That's why you see white men blowing their heads off with the suicide and shit, because once you've been running around screaming personal responsibility, you know, for for, you know, decades on end. And and you think that, uh, you know, the only reason people fall into poverty and despair and go without is because they're just strictly lazy. And then you find yourself in that same situation because you lost your job, no fault of your own, but because the freaking, you know, there's a global pandemic. You know, and then and then they lose that positive male identity of being able to earn and produce for their family. 
You know, notice you see all this freaking domestic violence going on. They had that guy. I, f I forget what state it was. He killed his whole family. He killed his wife. He killed his three children. Right. And who does that all the time? White men. White men do that shit all the time. You see. You know, and and, and yeah, again, they don't want to deal with their own demons. They hate mirrors. They don't want to deal with their own pathology. We talked about this with the mass shooters in schools. You know, metal detectors been working for black kids in, in inner city. We haven't had mass shootings in black schools. Yeah, what goes on in the neighborhood, drug dealers, all that shit. Yeah, outside the school, but we haven't had mass shootings in the school. So why don't white people put metal detectors in their schools? Oh, I know, because it would speak too loudly to the uh, pathology of white people as it pertains to mass shootings, because that's not a black people problem. We don't have mass shootings in schools. We don't have black people who go into malls or movie theaters with this with the, you know, uh, a strict uh, purpose of killing as many people as possible. That's not a black people problem. That's a white people problem. But white people love to act like well, we don't have no problems, you know, and, 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 and since they love monuments so much that they don't want, you know, these metal detectors to be a testament or police officers in schools or armed teachers. They don't want there to be a, 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 a shrine to their social dysfunction. And they don't, they, they don't want that. They want to, you know, make it look like, oh, well, you know, black people are the only ones that are fucked up, you know? So, um, or black people are the only ones that can make errors and, and make mistakes. Right. And I agree with Grandmaster Jay on that. The problem that I have is, you know, all the shit he's talking, coming online, and then looks like he doesn't know what he's doing. And then as a leader, when something happens, he doesn't take full responsibility. He doesn't say, hey, that happened on my watch. You know, and, and as somebody wrote in my comment section, what this looks like is it looks like a bunch of old niggas that are now trying to, you know, reclaim, you know, the, the idea that, you know, they're doing something, you know, this, this, this gender, this, this, you know, post baby booming generation that was really too young to be a part of the civil rights movement. And then the generation immediately after that, which is actually Captain Solo's, you know, generation, the people that were, you know, born in the late 1960s, you know, the bastards of the party, you know, who essentially haven't, you know, they didn't establish anything. You want to talk about what's going on in Baltimore? You know, they didn't establish anything. And not just because of the system of white supremacy and what black people were being denied. You know, as 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 Kevin Samuel said, they didn't have the information that we have today with the Internet and able to have all these exchanges and conversations. People were having those conversations, though. You can go back and find, you know, the uploaded videos that, of Amos Wilson and Dr. Claude Anderson. People were having these conversations, but it wasn't it wasn't, you know, uh, there wasn't a new media, which is essentially is what YouTube has become for black people, which is a new media a way for us to communicate and exchange and have this free exchange of ideas. The problem is everybody's got an asshole. You know, so just like, uh, you know, opinions, uh, you know, or just like assholes, everybody's got an opinion. So. You know, that's that that's what we're dealing with now. Um, but, um, you know, again, I, I'm not I'm not really with the whole, you know, yeah, it's nice to have a nice little show and, you know, you show a force and everything. But it's like that's going to get old and played out real quick. We're going to march all over America. That's going to get played out in real quick, real quick. All I all I want and all I've wanted was for black people to engage in, in uh, the Second Amendment just as much as white folks do. It needs to be a thing that black people are armed. You know, when you see bullshit like the McMichael, hey, McMichael should have been saying, man, leave them niggas alone. Them motherfuckers are strapped. You know, which, again, we have to talk about, you know, getting young black men involved in firearms ownership and understanding firearms before they get caught up in the system on some on some, you know, bullshit ass, uh, uh, bullshit ass, uh, you know, you know what they you know, they, but they charging people with all type of bullshit crimes and be like, oh, well, you had a weed tar charge at 19. You're now you're a forever a prohibited person. Like, fuck all that. You see? You know, and, and this is where this is where all the so-called, you know, the ELs, the educated lames, you know, and the professional black people and the black people that got some damn sense, you know, when they get in front of a fucking camera, uh, you know, have failed. Naga included. I'm talking to y'all. Naga included. 
You know, all that, all that, you know, polite Second Amendment stuff and, you know, being real quiet. Again, but NAGA doesn't have any political power. NAGA is not, I've seen a lot of people, I don't support the NRA, but I support NAGA. NAGA does not have any political power. NAGA does not have lobbyists. That's why the NRA sends you all them bullshit ass pamphlets asking for, you know, you know, you to donate money and everything so that they can, you know, obviously the high ranking people get to splurge and then, you know, they go off and, you know, say that they're fighting for your rights and whatnot. You know, again, if black people really are serious about being able to protect themselves, I need to hear more black people telling if you're going to vote Democrat, telling the Democrats that gun control is off the table. And I don't see that nor hear that. All I hear is, you know, oh, they need to give into our demands for reparations for slavery. What about self-defense? Anybody hear about self-defense? No. Hey, Pete, we're not talking about that. We were talking about reparations for slavery. Yeah, I'm with you on the reparations for slavery and all that. But what about the self-defense? What about the gun control? What about get eliminating that shit on all this assault weapons ban and all that other stuff and all this you can't carry and justifiable need and and and, and good cause and all the shit that was es essentially established to deny black people access to firearms. That's why they came up with all them laws, all the, you know, all the oh, get rid of the, sat the, the, what do they call it? The Saturday night specials, the cheap guns, the Lorsons, the Jimenez, the Cobras. Those were 25 ACP, 32 ACP. That's why those guns died because those were the guns that black people could afford because and white people knew that because they knew what they were paying black people, which wasn't shit. So they say, well, how do we keep black people from having guns? We can't say niggas can't have guns. Oh, I know. <laughs> Justifiable need, good cause. And then we'll price them out of the market by getting rid of all the cheap guns, all the freaking direct blow. What was it called? Direct blowback guns, you know, which which are essentially like the high point. The high point is, is the is the last, you know, of a dying breed because it's a direct it's a it's a blowback gun. You know, which which, you know, look at a high point and compare it to any other gun, you know, any other, you know, uh, freaking uh, what's his name? Uh, the You know, the Browning guy uh, uh, compared to any of the, any of those. It's completely different. You know, um, but, you know, these are the laws that were passed. That's why these white people, they come through and, you know, they want to co-sign me like like I'm like they, they, they see. They, see, if you co-sign any conservative tenant, they think you're completely on their side, you know. And only one white guy in the comment section actually said something, you know, to the effect of, you know, you and I would probably agree on 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 a lot of things, even though we disagree on on other things. And we probably would as it pertains to firearms and gun rights and shit like that. But outside of that, now nah, we ain't going to agree because, you know, I'm that nigga that is going to talk about white supremacy and talk about group economics and tribalism and and, uh, you know, the way that, you know, uh, you know, white people have barred and blocked black people out of American society and treated black people as second class citizens. I'm not backing down on that, regardless of how you feel and all that fake ass. We're all Americans bullshit. But when it really comes down to it, you know, again, you live on your side of town. Black people live on their side of town. You know, there's no there's no sharing of wealth and resources and whatnot. This country has always been divided. We're divided even when it comes to worshiping white Jesus and going to the church on Sunday, which is another reason why I walked away from Christianity. Not that I had a choice, you know, be it that I was born in a, in a, in a freaking, you know, a, a, a freaking Christian household. But, you know, again, looking around, I'm like, it's bullshit. You know, y'all seen that video of them white people. The guy went out there, the white guy went out there in uh, Arkansas with the sign, you know, saying Black Lives Matter. And all them uh, white people that came just drove by just just racist as fuck. But yet white people want to tell them, oh, white people aren't racist. You, you black people are just seeing things again. The gaslighting. I ain't got time for that shit. Bottom line, you know, the, 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 the first off, you know, black people just need to be having their economic conversation separately. Because at the end of the day, we live in a capitalist society and, and you're talking about economically competing against other groups of men. And that's what it's going to come down to. They're not going to, you know, f facilitate your opportunities, which goes directly against their own economic uh, uh, interests. They're not going to do that. OK, they're not they're not going to again, like Amos Wilson said, you know, I mean, if, if, if black kids started getting straight A's in school and getting scholarships to college and everything else, if we did everything that white people said we should do. It'll be just like that article, uh, Ghost of White People Pass. OK, you're going to start seeing them get nasty because they're going to be like, well, well, these jobs is for white folks. That's what they're going to start saying if you get to that level. But see, the thing is, is if you don't graduate. 
right? If you don't get the scores, if you're not successful, then they can disqualify you on the merits of something else. You see, you know, instead of saying they can't say, oh, black people can't live here like they try to do in in Levittown, you know, uh, uh, Pennsylvania. Right. They can't say, oh, black people can't live here. No. What they do is they'll say, well, black people can't afford to live here. See, that's different. See, that's, yeah. that's capitalism. That's not racism, even though the racism is baked into the capitalism. And all they got to do is deny you access to resources. And guess what? There's a whole bunch of places you can't live because you can't afford to live there. You see Donald Trump, he goes and smashes the whatever he did with the with the you know Fair Housing Act or whatever. I, mean, I, I heard about it. I didn't do any extensive research into it. But, you know, shit like that. The suburbs are safe. It's like what makes the suburbs the suburbs? The suburbs is nothing more than a, than, than, than a segment of the population that has the resources to live in the suburbs and live comfortably. They have, they have disposable income. You know, they're not like the working class whites and the working class poor and the white people living in the trailer parks and everything. Even wealthy white people don't want to live next to the white people living in the trailer parks. You know, because, again, your 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 environment is going to shape, you know, your 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 conditions and your conditions are going to shape, you know, how you think and how you think is going to shape your ultimately your behavior. So you're not going to have people who who go without resources and think, act, op, operate and behave like those that have resources. White people fully understand this when it comes to dealing with, you know, class, you know, in the white community. But somehow when they get over to black people, it's like they just go completely dumb. You know, somehow when they get over to black people, they, they, don't, they don't get it, you know. And, um, you know, I mean, I don't know what else much more I can say about it. You know, Grandmaster Day should have taken full responsibility of that negligent discharge. That negligent discharge m- makes all of us look bad. I mean, I mean, point blank, period. You know, th- I mean, you got to know that they're, they're waiting on black people to fuck up. They're waiting to be go to go. Aha. See, we knew it. Aha. They're waiting for that shit. The bottom line at the end of the day. Grandmaster Jay's people are not ready. And I'm saying I know he's got some military people in there and even some of them, they got to be questioning, you know, their their following of Grandmaster Jay. How can they not? How can you be a soldier? You went you was in Fallujah and all this other shit. And and, and, and you know, your uh, M16, your AR-15, like the back of your hand. And this man went up there and, and, and literally, uh, you know, told the world that an AR-15 would fire without pulling the trigger from an from closing and open you know the the bolt and and, and y'all y'all just sitting there going what that seems legit are y'all gonna sit there and try to ignore that nah that's 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 incompetence and I'm saying if Grandmaster Jay don't know that's 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 fine if he doesn't know learn nigga learn you see what I'm saying learn Again, it, Grandmaster Jay did not have to come out and, and say, you know, I'm this and I serve this. You know, again, think that, that title bullshit. You know, this gives me authority because, you know, I, I did this and I did that and I'm a sergeant major or whatever. All that crap. He didn't have to do that. He could have been a poindexter. He could have been a high school teacher and said, I'm sick of this shit. I'm starting an organization, you know, where black people are going to be armed you know what I'm saying? And we confronting, you know, the system of white supremacy and all this racism going on. And we're going to have classes and teaching black people how to defend themselves because we're sick of what happened with George Floyd and what happened with, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, um, you know, Breonna Taylor and what happened to Ahmaud Arbery. We're sick of this shit. We're sick of this shit. You know, and, and, and that's that's what could have been said. Or what could have been done. It doesn't require. Well, I mean, seriously speaking, like, what is there some prerequisite that you must be in the military in order to to uh, exercise your Second Amendment rights as an African American citizen? You know that that you that you have to have military knowledge in order to go and get your CCW and all that other shit. I'm not in the military. I never served a day in my life. You know, and and that's the, and that's the part that's really concerning me because I'm like, I don't know. I'm not in the military. You see what I'm saying? Everything I learned about firearms, I learned by myself. And to have somebody go up there and I'm I I consider myself fairly proficient. 
You know, but to have somebody go up there and claim that, you know, they serve, they actually got training and then to watch them fumble over how the how the operation of the firearm works. And see, the thing is, it's not he didn't just fumble over it. He arrogantly talked about it like he knew exactly what he was doing. That's the part that fucks me up. He was arrogant about it. And see, when I see those arrogant tendencies, I see nigga tendencies. I see inner city, urban street nigga tendencies, because, again, all that shit, all that talking, all that, you know, completely ignore what I just did and 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 and, and doing all this, you know, uh, verbal gymnastics, you know, around people and, you know, say motherfucker 15 times. Yeah, that flies in the inner city that flies with street niggas. You know, that's that sort of, you know, yo, who, who cares if I lost the argument? Oh, but can you beat my ass, though? That flies in prison. That flies in the ghetto. That shit does not fly with with black with 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 you know in, intelligent black people. It doesn't fly. It doesn't fly with intelligent anybody. It doesn't fly. You know, which is why I'm like Grandmaster Jay. He's like the the, the Donald Trump of of the fucking black community and shit. I'm like nigga. There's no there's no reason to lie about shit. There's no reason to sit there and talk about a rifle that you get with a Picatinny rail that wasn't even invented when you claim that you bought the rifle. Like, that's dumb. That's unnecessary. And and, and, and the thing is, is, you know, I am concerned because everything that Jam Master J, Grandmaster J says and I said Jam Master, Grandmaster J says and does reflects on black people. OK, you got a You got a greater responsibility than a lot of people because the media and everything else is, is giving you all the spotlight, which is which, again, people are right to question how the fuck you rose up to prominence so fast just by talking crazy. There's a lot of niggas that have been talking crazy online for a lot of time and they've been getting ignored. But all of a sudden now, you know, Jam Master, Grandmaster J is is. You know, they, they put them up there. And that's why people are asking whether you were agent. And then, again, combined with the the fumbling over a, a, a rifle that you should be 110 percent familiar with. Nah, nigga. Nah, nah. You damn right. People are going to question that shit. You know, and, and I'm saying the smartest thing to do, the smartest thing Grandmaster Jay could do right now is is to have a. a, a the NFAC and and possibly NAGA, if they get involved, if they if they, you know, ain't scared about the ridicule that they going to get from the white community uh, to, to train people on how to use their firearms and make sure that they're proficient. Get some type of training because ob- it's obvious that Grandmaster uh, Jay uh, is not the one to go to the training. I mean, he, he's he's already forfeited that card. So, again, before they go on another march or another anything else, they need to show that they're proficient and they're competent. Because, you know, that is effective leadership, not this bullshit. Uh, I'm just going I'm just going to jive talk my way out. Nah, nigga. It, it, again, this is serious. Shit. This is why people don't take black folks seriously, not just in the gun world, but in other arenas, other professions and things like that. When you get black people who do this. This shit pisses me the fuck off because it's not just about, you know, him knowing about the gun and every. Uh, no, no, no. This is this applies. This applies in healthcare. This applies in business. This applies in any profession, electrical engineering, all that shit. You know, Cap has had to tell people to tell tell men to 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 get the fuck off his job site as a, as an electrical engineer. He's like, because you don't respect electricity, dude. You know, his safety record, as he loves to say, my safety record is impeccable. You don't respect electricity. Electricity will kill you. You got motherfuckers come on the site. Oh, man, you know, I like to work on a, a on a wire live on a live wire. I want to. Yeah, man, I like to I like to I like to work on it. Man, get the fuck off my job site, man. You cut the power, you turn off the power in the panel box or whatever. That's how that's how we responsibly deal with electricity that has the power to kill you. But see, anybody talking, anybody talking anything other than taking firearms 
seriously and showing competent proficiency. I, I, as far as I'm concerned, they can't be respected as a leader. I'm not questioning their heart. I'm not questioning their 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 quote unquote courage. But but there's a fine line between courage, courage and blatant stupidity and recklessness. That's how uh, what was it? General Custard got killed. Custard's last stand. That's how he that's how he got his dumb ass killed. Overestimating his enemy or excuse me, underestimating his enemy. That's how he got his ass killed. And somebody who has served in the military, they should be fully aware of that. That's, that's, that type of shit should be burned into their fucking brains. I should not be sitting there and saying this shit as, as a goddamn civilian, you know, uh, just 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 using common sense. Hell, shit makes you question, you know, what the what the fuck did they teach you in the goddamn military if you served in the goddamn military? But anyway, um, I think that's all I got to say. I don't even need to upload the other video. I'm not going to upload my other my other rants that I had just, you know, driving, stuck in traffic and shit. Like, I, I'm, I'm not even going to I'm not even going to I'm not going to deal with that. I, I'll just I'll just post this because this this is generally, you know, everything that I wanted to say. Um, but, yeah, all this. All the all the hoteps and the, and the woke divists and all these other people coming in the comment section. I don't got too many of y'all. Now there's only a handful of y'all. But the, you know, there's some people that just you know they want to immediately run to the you know put crabs in the barrel and and you pulling down you know our fearless leader and all this other. Nah, man, fuck that. Fuck that. Okay, I'm not co-signing anybody up there that's that's telling people some shit about firearms that could get their ass killed. He thinking, oh, I'm showing you how to use this safe. No, he's not. No, he's not. And you can look over all over the Internet right now. Everybody's talking about it. Everybody's calling it the fuck out. You know, and again, see, that's the that's the problem with arrogance. It's a problem with narcissistic personality disorder. People don't know when to shut the fuck up. It's like Donald Trump with his goddamn tweeting. It's like, shut the fuck up. Damn, you making it worse. Shut up. Let time pass. Let people forget about it. Go out there and do something productive. Put out some videos of you actually getting trained. Go to Terran Tactical or some shit like that. Go to fucking James Yeager's spot and tac Tactical Response and wherever you got to go. Call up Coley on the war. Do something. Shit. But nah, instead it's 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 just, you know, I'm... You know, I, you know, I'm just going to try to talk my way out of this. Yeah, that, yeah, that's that's all niggas love to do is just it's fucking talk. It's the gift of the gab, because that's what happens when you grow up in poverty and you're trying to get something for nothing. You got to get over on people and use the gift of the gab, you know, to try to, you know, get things. That, that's one thing I hate about, quote unquote, game in the black community. Cause that's really what it comes from. It comes from black being people talk about, oh, black guys got all the game in the world. Yeah, they got game. Because when you live in an environment where 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 people don't have, it's like being on Tatooine in Star Wars or some shit. You know what I'm saying? You got you got criminals and fucking shysters and everybody running around and whatnot. You gotta be street smart. And you gotta be able to talk your way out of a situation. The problem is, is when you go into a st structured society, and then this is where people get into all that. Well, that's Eurocentric and all that other bullshit. And this is one of the reasons why Black people struggle to create structures, not only structures but vertical structures. Because we get on this. Well, if I don't respect the individual, you know what I'm saying? And that's why people are trying to now. Now all of a sudden, people want to downplay. Uh, Grandmaster Jay's claim to military experience. Well, it don't matter whether he got military experience or not. You know, it's about the heart. Because they like the individual. They like what he's saying. You see? But I'm like, nah, man. Nah. When you talking about having a structure, when you talking about having a, a, a militia, you know, it 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 matters that you're competent in what the fuck you're doing. It doesn't matter whether you are a well-liked individual or whether you the realest motherfucker out there. That doesn't matter. It matters that that you are competent and you know, you know what the fuck you're doing. 
because you're you're uh, requiring that people follow your leadership, your effective leadership. And if you've been deemed an ineffective leader, well, you're going to have a problem on your hands, structurally speaking. Oh, and it's coming. Oh, it's it, oh, it's coming. All them NFAC people, I guarantee you, they're not going to stay in lockstep. There's going to be some people that are going to be like, hey, man, what the fuck was that? I was taking you at face value, but what the fuck was that? It's got to be one and two. And we just got one and two in there. You know, I'm not going to say no names, but, you know, some of y'all already know who I'm talking about who we know is competent with their rifle because all they do is train, 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 train. You know, y'all know who I'm talking about. And I'm like, nigga, you ain't going to say nothing. You ain't going to say nothing. Like, okay. Anyway, that's all I got to say. That's my video. SWP out. You can check out my other gun channel where I talk about second amendment issues on New Jersey self-defense, you know, this is very, I have only got like 700 subscribers over there because, you know, again, the white guys come over, you know, they hear me talk some pro 2A shit. They're like, subscribe. Then as soon as I get on some racial shit, unsubscribe, you know, so, you know, that's what they do. I'm used to it. But um, yeah, for, again, the channel is not particularly for them, but I do talk to them because I know that they like to float around you know, uh, on my channel, but, um, and even on this channel, you know, there, there's, there's a bunch of, you know, not necessarily troll white people, but they, they float around. I, you know, so they, sometimes they comment, sometimes they don't, but they float around, you know, and they're welcome. They're welcome to flow around as long as they don't st- get out of pocket and get disrespectful. They can say and what they want to say and challenge, you know, whatever they want to challenge and whatnot. Um, but, uh, yeah, other than that, yeah, I'm done with this video. That's my video SWP out.